welcome back to Post Time. There are some spectacular people in the standard bread business doing some heroic things, like our next honoree. Jana Davis is an accomplished trainer and a mom of a teenage son, as if that's not enough work. And she's also got a new embroidery business. But no matter how busy she is, Janet finds time each Christmas to spearhead a major fundraiser. In just the past three years, she's raised $35,000, given 125 turkeys to needy families during the holidays, and hundreds of phone cards to the troops. And she's given a Christmas to over 500 children, plus gifts to their caregivers. Janet, when people come up to you and they say, how do you do it all? What is your answer? Um, it's just motivation, knowing that the kids are going to have a Christmas, that if I don't get up off my butt and get out there and get some shopping done, that there won't be a Christmas. I know that there's a lot of people that do help you. Yeah, Janet has like her own army of elves, right? And that's really great. People have stepped up. Oh, it was amazing. This year we were at the mall with Sky Phillips and WDSD. Um, Alex and Mo LaFontaine were there. My sister-in-law, Penny, and her husband were there. Um, Julianne Bobby and her daughter, they were there from 7 in the morning, all these guys, till I think we left the mall at 10.30, 11 o'clock that night. So, um, and the list of people with money and donations, it's just amazing. The list goes on and on and on. I don't even know where to begin. What about one particular story? Does anything stand out for you, like the, um, any kind of feedback or something touching? Um, it all stands out for me to know how many kids that are really needy out there, but last year we had the presentation at Dover Downs, and uh, one of the families came to collect their gifts, and um, this little five-year-old came and wrapped her arms around my legs and said, I knew Santa would come, and... <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one gets me. <laughs> happy tears, tears, but happy tears, yes. On top of everything that you do, you are starting a new business, an embroidery business. Give me the name and tell me about it. Um, Melanie Moran, Jimmy Moran's wife and I have joined forces and we've started The Perfect Stitch. It's an embroidery business. We do horse blankets, baby blankets, to hats, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. Anything that can be embroidered on, we do it. Um, our website is theperfectstitchde.com and um, look us up. All right. I want to give you, you a plug. You do so much for so many people. So. That was a little advertising for you. Anything that I can do to help you out. I love you. Thank you so much. And thanks for being on the show. Thanks, Heather. I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jana Davis, our harness racing wonder woman. What do you say? Let's see one of her equines in action. In here, number four, Daylon Beware is a winner of $300,000 lifetime. The six. Smashy Cerise goes to post with driver Sean Beer. And number seven winning solution is the lady pacer who starts for conditioner, Janet Davis. There off, there goes Daylon Beware, Joyful Western, Between Horses Rancher now takes back, moving through his style master. And then comes Eagle Native with the rail, that's Smashy Cerise. Rancher is all the way back to six now. Three lanes in front of Winning Solution, Bad Blue Butterfly Trails. They race around the turn, and it's Daylon Beware outside of Style Master. 26 and one, that's fast for these. They come by the stands, and it's Daylon Beware opening up two lanes. Style Master coming back to the outside. Style Master up after the lead. Daylon Beware has the rail, then comes Joyful Western, followed by Eagle Native. On the outside, moving up now is Rancher. Down toward the inside. Now Rancher got caught three wide as they scramble over toward the half. On top is Style Master. Here comes Joyful Western now. And Joyful Western joins Style Master. 55 and 4. They head to the back stretch. And getting the lead now, Joyful Western. Rancher's on the outside. Style Master has the rail. Then it's Daylon Beware. Winning Solution follows outside, as does Smashy Cerise. 
shuffled back is Eagle Native, and out from last is Bad Blue Butterfly, and there goes Rancher up to get the lead. Rancher takes the lead. Winning Solution is into second, followed by Smashy Cerise. Daylon Beware, 124 and 4 around the final turn. And Winning Solution on the outside has joined Rancher. They come to the top of the stretch. Winning Solution from the outside. Rancher's got the rail. Here's Smashy Cerise and Daylon Beware, and they're at the top of the stretch. Winning Solution has the lead coming through the stretch. Winning Solution, here's Smashy Cerise on the outside. Smashy Cerise after Winning Solution. Winning Solution holds on. Smashy Cerise, Daylon Beware, 154 and 1. Winning Solution trained by the Delaware Standard Bread Owners Association. Special Appreciation Award winner, Janet Davis. Lights up the tote board and pays almost $60 for a $2 wager. The eight-year-old mayor is owned by Ryan Davila. And in the driver's seat was Eddie Davis Jr. Second was Smashy Cerise. And third went to Daylon Beware.